All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday broadcast. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great week. Sorry I didn't get a stream in on Tuesday. It was an anniversary day on Tuesday, so we went out to dinner and then came home and had family night. So yeah, it was a good time. What yourself? This I was supposed to do a uh, bonus stream Monday, but that didn't happen either. I got a lot done around the house though Monday, so it was just I was ready to lay out Monday evening and. Didn't touch the gaming computer. Today is actually the first time I've turned the computer on all week. Yeah, it's been busy. Work's been busy. IRL has been busy. Today's busy. Today might be a shorter stream than normal. Again, I apologize, guys. Um, I, I probably got to get off around 2.30. Somewhere between 2.30 and 3. Because we gotta, uh, we're doing like my 40th birthday bar crawl downtown this evening. So, got to start getting ready for that and get all prepped. Good to go. How very domestic of you, right? Feared what's going on, dude. Um, weather in Florida today has been uh, a little brutal for us Floridians. It's um, right now currently 46 out. We got a high of 51 in Florida. That's pretty crazy for us. I mean, normally when the sun's out, it's like at least 65, 70. But uh, today's a little chilly, so it's going to be an interesting night doing a bar crawl. Luckily, the place is... I picked out are semi close together there's one that's like two blocks away from the rest of the bars so my go-to joints kind of off the square a little bit so starting there and we'll be going into the downtown you had freezing rain in new york oof geez sorry zach i think it's supposed to be cold all week here in florida i think let me look at the forecast I know that y'all got these see gameplay but talk weather here sometimes um so i think the highest we have is 80 and that's not till thursday everything else is pretty cold so today is like a high of 51 sunday is a high of 56 monday is 64 tuesday is 72 wednesday is 77 thursday is 80 um lows go today was a 35 tomorrow is a low of 30 um, Monday is a low of 34, Tuesday is a low of 38, Wednesday is a low of 52, and Thursday is 54. So, not too shabby, not too shabby. It's not it's not crazy, right? For you northerners, that's probably nothing. You're like, that's beach weather. Yeah, tonight, tonight would be a... Well, it's kind of windy today. Like, it is... It's actually really windy. Like, last night I got up and I thought... It was like... It reminds me of, like, the hurricane nights when we're waiting for the bands to pass because it was blowing pretty good last night um today has been a little bit of the same i've been peeking outside here and there when i'm cleaning up around the house and it's about the same so this evening is going to be interesting doing a bar crawl with it windy and cold i'm sure the bars will have their uh portable heaters out see people running around looking like eskimos probably here in florida because you know us floridians don't do well with the cold but it is a good it would probably be tomorrow night would probably be a better bonfire night I'm sure there's going to be some fires tonight, but with it windy, I'm sure there's going to be some fire truck called too. <laughs> sure there will be. But yeah, uh, we're going to be playing some EQ2 this afternoon. I was battling myself because I almost logged into VAR soon, but I think we're really close to finishing this uh, signature timeline for um, renewal of row. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do the quick familiar daily real fast, and then we will jump into um renewal of row stuff so bear with me if anybody's got anything to say let me know um there is a giveaway going on over in discord right now if you go over to the discord channel which i will post now you go over into discord and the giveaway channel or enter here you'll see uh, that there's a giveaway for one chrono there was they've changed the commands for it so if it doesn't roll when it says it's supposed to announce the winner i'll force it to just know there might be a little bit of a delay okay so but we will get a winner for that and if not then we'll figure it out i might have to do it again but they've changed the commands and i did technically i started two giveaways by accident and i wasn't realizing that so i had to cancel the first one and this is the one that everybody's been entering on. And I think so far it's working fine. I just know that there's a chance that it might not announce the winner right away. So I'll have to look at that when it 
time counts down. But that is a community appreciation giveaway that we're doing. Y'all helped me hit my sub goal of 30 subs last week. And um, we're down to 27 right now, but we're, we were at 30. So every time we hit a sub goal, I do a giveaway usually, and it's usually a chrono. Uh, because most most of the community here plays EverQuest in some form or fashion, either EQ1, EQ2, and they can use that chrono for their um, Daybreak account. So that's usually what I'll do. If for some reason um, the winner does not do anything with EQ2 and does not want a chrono, um, we can talk about that and figure out how we want to handle it. But that's the that's the plan. That's the giveaway going on right now. So next time we hit another sub goal, we're we're doing it again. We'll roll another uh, we'll roll another chrono. So. Keep helping me hit those goals. I appreciate you guys for watching and thank you, thank you for supporting the stream. Um, no real huge news coming up um, in the in streaming world for me anyways. Nothing is going to change that I know of. Uh, we're still doing New World on Tuesday nights, EQ2 on Saturdays and Sundays. There's been a roadmap posted for EQ2 and EQ1. And I'm really actually interested in the EQ1 roadmap because they're redoing their interface, their UI. And I want to see what they do to that. That's not till April, though. But I, And they're also supposed to be announcing a new TLP with the new UI. The UI is going to be coming out in, like, branches, though. So they're not doing, like, just one day brand new UI. There's It's going to be a gradual thing to get the whole thing done and new. So I'm interested to see what they do with that. Because if they do it right, that's a lot of people's big, like, complaint. Not the graphics in EQ1 are a big complaint. But the interface itself is just clunky and people have problems with it. And that's what is a big turnoff because people just get lost in there. So if they do it right and it make it simpler and more user-friendly, that game could see a pretty big population boost boost with the TLP launch and they usually have a good population boost with TLPs and they usually have to do multiple TLPs because of that um, but I'm interested to see what happens there um, EQ2 they did announce a new PvP server I mean that'll get a you know a few good weeks of content out of that and we'll more than likely take a look at it because my defiler will be uh, transferred over to Antonio Bale I actually don't know if I'm going to keep that Defiler. I might delete him. I don't know. Just to make room for the new PvP character. And I am not going to announce what character I'm going to roll for PvP. I think I'm going to do the randomizer for the PvP. And just let that pick my class for me. Not permadeath. But we'll just let the randomizer pick my uh, class for PvP. See what happens. But that's the plans I'm looking at. Roadmaps were cool. Uh, a lot of information there. Tons of information. Um, it's going to be an interesting year. Magic Mike says permadeath. Yeah, no, um, not on, not on the PVP server. That's just, that's a bad idea. That, uh, have you seen me PVP Magic Mike? It is not pretty. <laughs> I be I barely, I just die. I'm just a, fee I feed people experience out there. That's what I do. I'm not very good at PVP. Or at least the, in the past, I haven't had the very good classes for PVP. I will say that, so... Hopefully this next round, I'll do better. I really want to roll like Warden for PvP. I think that'd be fun. Either Warden, maybe Shadow Knight. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, okay, we're going to do the Familiar. I have boosted myself down to level 5. Let's go ahead and go into the Common Lands because we need Dire Monsters. We need three Dire Monsters. Grab those, and then we'll head back over and see if we can't finish out the signature, uh, signature timeline of Renewal of Row. I'll roll an Illy over there for the uh, for fun, I am sure. Yeah, Illies are pretty good in PvP, I think. Illies and Coursers do pretty good. Provided you got somebody to take hits. I don't know about solo, like one, -on -one for one-on-ones yeah. so might be a little weird. Especially if you're going up against a melee, but I mean, if you can get them stunned, then you pretty much own the fight, I think, at that point. It's just the DPS point. Because you can just stun lock them pretty good, but you gotta be able to kill them, so that's where I've had problems. I've been able to throw roots and get them stunned and locked and stuff like that, but it's just getting the DPS part. one 
There's two. There's three. Very cool. There's a shiny over here. I'm going to grab it. Got one. Okay. On Mentor. Here back to my level. Summon all the things. Head back. Can I fast travel to? I'll just have to use a potion. Lyra has came up in the word game. Bill Slowski typed Lyrath. Just missing that R, man. At least the T with the R, and you got it. Sure, 357 copper just waiting for you. All right. Uh, I did get my flight here, guys. I did that off stream. So I did my uh, collection thing, or not my collection, my um, daily rafting thing, and now we can fly. So that's pretty cool. Oh, no, you're all good, Bill. It's all, don't say sorry, man. It's good. I was just giving you a heads up because some people are quick with those words in the chat once people start filing in here. Some people are quick with it. All right, so we left off. I didn't grab the dailies. I want to get right into the instance because, like I said, today might be a shorter stream than normal. I'm going to try to get off around 2.33, somewhere in between there. So we'll see what happens. Um, just because I, I got to shower and get ready for to go out tonight. So it's going to be a long night. I've been hydrating. I'll need chat to help me with the hydration. I've already went through one of these so far, so. All right, so we left off um, last Sunday with Renewal of Row Mission Most Heated. Under the disguise of the Aurelian Zealot, we should be allowed to enter the village of Rathmana during their religious ceremony. Fairy, the fiery entrance they've entered near oh, the fiery entrance they've created near their village will allow only those who wear their vestments to enter. Enter the Rothmana mission most heated while wearing the Artelian Zealot disguise, which I have that somewhere in this mess of an inventory. Unpack that. We got a prismatic spark. What does that look like? It's giant and very bright. It's pretty cool. Is that legendary? No, it's a treasured one. Add to collection. I already have that one. Interesting. I did not realize that I had that one already. Um, we'll examine it and we will consume that one. It's going to give us 2200. It's going to give us 100 experience. For our current familiar. All right. Let me check Overseer real quick. Make sure I did that. Uh, I got 13 minutes on the, well, 14 minutes on the Roger Plateaus. And then on the Hunter, I got 23 hours. So we're good there. Freddy, what's going on? <laughs> Snuck in are the fastest for the word game. Yeah. Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you guys for stopping by the channel. Appreciate you being here. All right. So, Roth Mana. Where is the zone in for that? It's the Sandstone Delta. There's the Eye of the Storm. There's the Raid. There's the Grave Range. I have to look this up in the wiki. So, because I don't know where the to this quest is all right wiki where you at here uh mission most heated eq2 um looks like the entrance is on the steps i do a waypoint and head that way which makes it look like oh uh, it's right over here actually okay i guess i missed that entrance we also need to put the disguise on, which is right here. Fix this inventory so we know where everything is going. Uh, we got food and drink. We're set there. Okay. Um, gear and stuff is at 100. 90, 
Eh, that's fine. All right. Let's do this. Darko redeems uh, hydrate. Thank you, sir. And a stretch. How's it going, Darko? Where you been, man? You're doing well. Oh. Thank you, Darko. Hmm. All right. Get in it. Hope all's well, man. Uh, let me put this on. Use. I wonder what I look like with... Oh, I gotta turn mount off. I'm not doing that. Okay. Playing some D&D &D at the moment? Nice. Okay, okay. Rothmana mission most heated. Going in. Quest update. It says search Rothmana for Narian. Darko. Or if anybody in the chat, what's what's everybody mad at wizards for? I've been seeing it all over Reddit, and I really don't know. Like I, I'm out of the loop with it at the moment, but I feel like a lot of D and D people are really upset, <laughs> and I don't know why. I didn't look. I didn't read into it or anything like that. I just know I've seen a lot of posts really recently about how. Wizard supposedly hates the community and all this other stuff. So I don't know what it is or if it's just drama. Could just be just just that. It's just drama. All right, so we got to search for Nerian. Let's just run up here. We're under disguise, so nobody's attacking me. Look around. an inquisitor and there's Nerian. oh shit I didn't even get to see what happened there we just got attacked Oh, there's a named. Kill this ad. There's the ad. The ad's dead. Summon some pets. Dots are still ticking. Thoughts are down, redotting. Verdict. NPC, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, shit. Lord Nagafin is here. Where is the other one? Where is Furiona? This was not the elf of growth I wanted you to capture, Vigis. Arg, pathetic creatures, scale mites, all of you. Oh, shoot. Are we gonna die? Uh, what have you done to her? What have you done to my beloved? We didn't do anything, Lady Vox, to the Lady Vox, I swear. What matter of growth witchery was that? If you will not tell me what you did, I shall have to see for myself. If you will not tell me what you did, I already read it. My eyes. Oh, crap. You take her eyes? Recover the crystal arca. Greetings, traveler. Did something to her eyes. There's a chest right there. Okay, grab the chest. Well, that started off. Oh, there's Zaz. Ziz is here. What is happening? Ziz ran in and did something. Alright, now we gotta talk to Narian. Greetings, traveler. 
My eyes, I cannot see. Nagafin stole my sight. We have to go, Narian. Return to Serena Sandstone Landing. Holy crap, that was a hot start, right? That was crazy. Uncle Obi, what's going on? Uh, Magic Mike said, from my understanding, they're going to uh, go after content creators and tend to greatly increase the monet monetization of D&D. &D. Oh, like when you say go after content creators, what, what are you talking about? It's a bit complicated, but you can find a lot more info on YouTube. But basically, the OGL, which allows people to make their own custom thing, was free. For forever, they said so until recently. Now everything you make belongs to wizards. It's all about money. Oh, okay. Gotcha, coffee. Snookin, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. What's going on, man? Hope you're doing well. Well, that was an intense little instance right there. I was not expecting to see Nagafin so quickly. All right. Story progressed. Got to go back to the entrance here, which I guess we can just probably be quicker just to hit a one of these bad boys. Item not attuned. Excuse me? I gotta... Why is it not attuned? It, I've used it before. Okay. Now it's attuned. Just popping in real quick. Wifey and my 13 year anniversary heading out for lunch. Very cool, man. Happy 13 years. Very cool. All right, Serena. Well met. Rebus, you returned with my Narian. Was it Nagafin? Yes and no. Nagafin used a band of rogue zealots to abduct Narian, hoping to get information from him about Vox's change. The growth she exhibited um, when she was resurrected. He doesn't know what it is or what changes it. What changes it is doing to Lady Vox. Let's get Narian back to the Mystic of Hopewell Harbor to tend to his wounds. There's something else, Serena. Z got to the Crystal Arca. I wasn't able to stop him this time. As he said her name, he said Aldis. <laughs> then Sultan of Daggers is not dead. She was not truly slain, and she now has the Crystal Arca. We cannot let the Sultan of Daggers use the Crystal Arca. It was our fault it was brought to her here brought here, where she could send her minion after it. Considering it is carved to your Avishan, it could be devastating in her hands. She could make the entire island of Roe enslaved to her will. We must stop her. You and I can confront the Sultan of Daggers and Raj Durvad. While Phazoth takes Narian back to the Mystic of Hopewell Harbor, then it is decided. But let's strike the Sultan at the at Mahala before she has a chance to use it. Sweet. And then we gotta choose one of these. We either go with the neck piece, which has ability double cast. Or we go with the deck piece with the crit chance max health. I think we go with the double cast. I mean, that seems like a no-brainer. Is it an upgrade, though? 410 resolve. That is an upgrade. Sweet. All right. Farmer Hank, what's going on? It says, nice to see you live. Always wanted to play EQ2, but every time... In 20 minutes, I'm back to EQ1. No, I get that, man. I get that. That's how I am with... Whoa. That's how I am with uh, other MMOs with EQ2. I play them for a hot minute and then come right back to EQ2. In my case, a lucky 13 years. She's listening, isn't she, Snookin? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's also me. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Um... I think it's easier just to watch your vids yeah farmer i got you man i i understand a lot of people say that actually i i want to do better youtube content for you guys as well but i just have no time and i've thought about it one way i could do better youtube content is not i'd have to drop a stream day so like for instance like tuesdays i wouldn't be able to stream on tuesdays and i'd spend tuesday night editing and going over YouTube content um the other option is to hire an editor and i just I, I like control of things so like I like to do my own thing and I just haven't got to that point yet where I want a YouTube editor but maybe maybe basically uh, what coffee said but people who stream make videos with none of 
none official D and D material is now copyright issue. Holy crap. That is pretty bad. Yeah. That's crazy. So the D and D Twitch community might, uh, yeah, I could see them being up in arms. I got you snuck in the dumb as I look. Uh, all right. So let's, uh, do the thing on this. Dormant reclamation. Oh, we got to get our current one off. Get all those items back and then we will use them. New one. Missing a. What did I pull off there? The dormants from four. I only removed three. So I'm missing a. White adornment on that. Scavenger's adornment of will. Maybe I go see the. Let me go take a look at the panda merchant. I don't remember what I was doing. That neck piece. The best thing is most of them are fighting uh, are fighting back. A lot of major companies are like, the fine, we'll make our own and give it away to the public, not to mention their D&D &D beyond. People are canceling left and right. Finally, people are actually scaring companies, but we'll see if it's a, fl if it's a flash in the pan <laughs> or if it holds water. No, I got you, man. I hope I hope we get it all worked out. I just know I've, I've seen a lot of posts about it lately, and I haven't done my own research into it to see what everybody's complaining about. Not complaining, but what everybody's, you know up in arms about uh collect mm, collectors yes in it there all right so i need to find the neck piece primary head chest forearms there's a neck for ability mod there's a neck for combat skills uh, primary finger ear. There's a health one. There's a double cast for neck. Well, I think we, uh, I think we decided on that one. Well, hello, beautiful. Just make sure. Shiny, what's going on? Dark inside, what's going on? Happy Saturday. Hope you're all doing well. Hope all is well. Doing those quests too? Nice, Dark Inside. You liking them? Having a good time? I already got all four of those. Maybe I need to look at the other ones I have too. That's a 125. Twenty-five. What does it do? Uses potency. Do I have Symphony of the Void? Is there a way for me to tell if I have Symphony of the Void? Let's just do one at a time because we're gonna get a little. Well, we want that one. I have the collectors of that. I do have the Hua Collector Star Shard. That's Comet Glow, though. Better stats. That's the one I have on that. So really, it's my blue and red adornment. Which one is this? Nature of Arc 25. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we just leave that one on there. I'm stuck on 2019. I can't find the plate in Kailong Plains. I even tried tracking it. I remember that one was a pain in the butt because I couldn't see it. You got a 1440p monitor, by the way. Oh my god, I'm never going back to 1080p ever again. I feel the same way when I got mine. Dark. Felt the same way, man. Gaming on 1080p now is just hard. It's not hard, it's just not like especially when you have the hardware to run 1440p, it's just it's uh Yeah. Let me see if I can find that. Oh, I'll help you. Hold on. Give me just a second here. Let me figure out what I'm doing with these adornments. I need to grab Book Collector's Adornment of Extra Attack. So we're going to buy one of those. And I'll use that. This. And really, it's just this red adornment. I don't know if I need to replace that. And the red ones, I have evasion. Expertise. Rage. Well, those are, those are, I can't even use those on a neck piece anyways. This can go on neck. I don't know if I have it though. This can go on neck. Okay. Alright, so let me look. I gotta figure out if I have course of night. Do you have course of night? Do I have symphony of the void? don't have Symphony of the Void. Okay, so that's the one I need. Correct. Need the one that says Symphony of Void. That's going to give me... Okay. Put that on that. That's going to give me this back. Now, if I failed, this won't let me equip it. Yeah, it's not going to let me equip it. I only have one Symphony of the Void. So I do have Symphony of the Void somewhere. Where is that? on my hands why why do i have it on my hands so would that be better to get 
different hand adornment red. Apparently you can go there. Renewed your membership for you too. Nice. Gonna buy the expansion on Monday. Sweet, dude. Here, let me um here, I'll I'll help you find that thing in just a second. What's the name of the quest again, Dark Inside? Like the 2019, what's the name of it? Alright, so I guess that we'll just put this back on here. I don't know what to do with this. It's fine. But now we got full stats on that, so. Alright, we'll figure that out later. Research chat. Re search. Rising to the occasion. Okay. Rising to the occasion. Two. You're looking for the plate, right? first spot here so it kind of it doesn't it, it is a plate but to me it looks more like a campfire is what it with stones what it's supposed to look like i'm probably not going to see this now that i think about it like i won't see it because i'm not on that quest Nothing here. Okay. Now, did you do these in order, by the way? So you, you did the glowing bush, because it does say that. It says, visit the following locations in order. So did you get the dregs landing one first? Okay, you did. Okay, so we're on the plate. At this next location. So it's way over here. What's up, Grog? How are you doing, sir? Really, I've never been in this building. Nothing in here either. getting so much discovery I'm 
Nothing in here either, I'm guessing. Oh, this one says it's either in... Both the last two things say they're in here. I don't have any account that that hmm yeah that's a weird one dark I mean it should be here I don't see any other instructions as to like Making sure that something's on or anything. Unless they've moved it and now it's outside somewhere. I mean, I hate this. I mean, one thing you could do, and I, it sucks, but you could maybe try resetting the quest. Like, delete it and then get it again and start over with it. Like, for the this one maybe that'll reset the spawn for it or something let me just see what happens in dark ui here plate doesn't even come up when i search for the poi It is weird. Hold on. Um, Kylo Plains, Terrence Grass. You need to find a shallow, gym filled bowl. These tend to be inside on the floor of the Arcane Refuge building. First building on your right as you enter Terrence Grass. Some possible locations are, and then it gives some waypoints. First building on your right when you enter Terrence Grasp. You check in this one. Looks like there's somebody else in here doing it. This is on EQ2 Traders Corners. Traders Corner or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, we did come in this building. Hmm. Copy. Try this location, see where it takes me. Right here. Yeah, it's, both of them are like right here in the middle for their locations, but you're not seeing it. Yeah, man, I think you're just at the point where you might have to delete the quest and try grabbing it again, see if that resets it, man. Sorry, dude. No problem.
I wish I could see updates that you're working on, though, because that would make things a lot easier, too. All right, we need to go... Where do we need to go? We need to return to Raj Durbad in the Raj Dur Plateaus. So that's where we're going. Travel. Might as well grab our weeklies while we're there. Was I on the left? Well, the locations were in there. Weird. Because I even pulled up the waypoints, and it was in that building. I went to the left, though, I'm pretty sure. But the locations were in that building, the two locations that it listed. All right, um, what do we got to do here? Return to Raj Durbad in Raj Plateaus. Raj Durbad. It's up here, right? Where's Durbad? up there yeah. it's a roach I check just in case. Is that for pagan noise? Enter the Sultan's Mala Shattered Designs. Or is there a dungeon entrance? Dungeon entrance up here. That thing. You had to reset the quest? Nice, okay. Check and see if it's this entrance over here. Nope, it's not that one. Elric, what's going on? He says, hope you're doing well. What type of server are you on right now? I'm on retail right now. We're taking a look at the renewal of row content. I vaguely remember there being an instance right in this tent area. what it was how you doing Elric hope all's well man thank y'all for stopping by today appreciate y'all being here is it traditional progressional I'm not sure how to pick servers this is a traditional retail live server uh, max level is 125 I do play on Varsoon we have a permadeath um, community over there and I do have a bard that I've been working on non-permadeath on Varsoon which is the newest TLE. Time locked expansion server. If you're a returning player and you have all access, Elric, I would recommend making a character on Varsoon. That would be my recommendation. Um, if you've just bought the most recent expansion and you have all access, then of course, Halls of Fate to check out that content. It is a little bit of a culture shock and there is a learning curve, but can be done. 
But I think Varsoon is usually the best place for people that are returning to the game. Went to the doctor on Wednesday and had an assist removed, so that was fun. And by fun, I mean not. Yeah, I could. I I read that and I was like, ooh, sucks, man. Uh, confront Aldous and the Sultan of Daggers. Okay. Ew. I'm confronting you. Look who wised up, returning to what you couldn't last time. Or are you simply glutton for failure? Crap, she's going to fight. No, you actually think you can defeat us? You have no idea. I tell you... Now is your chance to wish for mercy, but I don't grant wishes. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Let's kill this guy already. He's been annoying. Well, that was quick. Gotta subdue Solrina. Wait, wasn't Solrina on our side? What is happening? And why are they dying so quickly? Destroy the Sultan's armor. Reclaim the Arca. Return to Hopewell Harbor in the Rajdar Plateaus and speak with uh, Narian. Serena says, what was, thank you. Okay, cool. Anything in here? Nothing in here. All right, we gotta go back to the plateaus. Yes, fast travel. A big decision on my neck, oh, a big incision on your, not decision, sorry. I think I missed, um, is Varsoon a progression server? Yeah, Varsoon is the newest time-locked expansion server, progression server. Mm -hmm. They're currently on Kingdom of Sky expansion, so it's still pretty good time to get in on there. And they're pretty populated for a server. As long as you have all access, Selric, of course. It is, yeah, you have to have all access to play there on that server. But that's where I would recommend starting a character, if you're a returning player. Now, once you get back on the bike and you're riding really good, then make some live server characters. Bright blessings. Such a relief to hear your voice once more, Rebus. Arian, how are you feeling? I could be better, but not. Don't worry. I am in Jada's good care. I may have lost my sight, but I have not lost my calling. You seem more at ease. That is due to Firiona, the chosen of Tunar, spoke with me. She's alive. We have not. We have not known it, but we have had been witness to her ascension. She is now the demigod of renewal. The great mother was moved by her plea for new growth, her love for the mother's creations, and her willingness to sacrifice herself so others may blossom. Firiona is now part of the celestial order. And I must thank you for saving me back there in the Sultan's Mala. What was, what was that, Selena? She didn't remove your will, did she? No, it was her mirror, something about it. I was compelled to take up the Arca. Her mirror? But you didn't let that happen. You brought Serena back to us. To me, thank you. Phazoth, you and Serena? We had settled in different cities here on Norath, but perhaps you know how peril and shared struggles can create bonds. So what city are you going to return to? We've decided neither. The Hizites have extended the invitation to join their clan and stay here in Hopewell Harbor. With them as long as we want. That sounds nice. Something tells me we haven't heard the last of Aldous of her mirror and or her mirror. Serena and Phazoth stay alert. Let's just leave Lady Vox and Lord Nagafin. We know we know not where they went, but there is no hint they remain on row. What does remain on row is hope, brought about by the renewal of growth in this parched and cursed land. The land once picked by Tunar and filled with her creation blooms once again. Let this transformation turn the fates of all elven kind. That sounds downright hopeful. You're going to stay here too? And then the uh, the chat disappeared. 
Um, you're going to stay here too? No, I've decided to return to Calithin and share Firiona's teachings with others and tell everyone of the events that have transpired here. I want you to take this, Rebus. Your adventures are not done, and it may just be something that comes in handy. May the Great Mother bless you. So was that it? Was that the end? I got an Ascension level 25 boost. I got to pick one of these. It's a charm slot. All our charm slots. Is that the end of the timeline, guys? Is it over? Now you have to do the music box quest to get your epic spell. Okay. Um, let's see. We got ability mod and crit chance. Crit chance and flurry. Crit chance and mitigation increase. So I guess we're going ability mod and crit chance. Gem of Nurturing. So no, not over. Got it. I have gained a new ascension. Oblivion Link. Apprentice. Is that what this is? Okay. Uh, ROR quest flag. Renewal of row. 49k status points. Thank you over here Aww. this is going to replace either one of these items I think Crit chance or flurry mitigation um flurry I guess no what's flurry do for me Flurry, you have 78% chance to increase your auto attack damage against single monsters. Negation, we get rid of then. Orb damage. Nice on for soon. Very cool, Elric. Why can't I get rid of this ranged auto attacks bar in the right? Let me use my bolt. <laughs> You think you can turn it off in the settings, um, dark inside. If you go to options, advanced user interface, I'm trying to remember where it's at. Game features. Game windows. Where's that here? I know it's somewhere because I've turned it off in the past. It's here. I'll find it. Maybe I'm in the wrong window. Oh no, that's the colors one. Oh god, it's so long. Oh, I did another one. I don't I could have swore it was under game features. I don't think it's under there then. 
explain. Alright, it'd be easier if I just um, EQ to auto attack. Under the options and character window. Wow. Way off. Wait, no, that's just the mode. I need to I want to turn it off. Like the actual interface part, which makes me think it's under user interface, but I really don't know where it's. Right there in front of me, chat. Okay, so you go to so go to options, advanced, user interface, game windows, and then it's right here. It says show auto attack timing bar. You want to uncheck that. Got that dark? It was right in front of me the entire freaking time. Surprise, surprise. Did you listen, Dark? Oh, you, you unchecked it? So you have this show auto attack time bar? It shouldn't be popping up then. stuck so I can't use my mount oh I, th I had to take it off shiny it was getting flagged for copyright stuff I need to shorten it or find a short shortened version of it I should say evil kitten what's going on ribs. hey thank you for the 26 minutes 20 26 minutes 26 months of support thank you it's all well. Hope you're having a good weekend. It says, oh, lame. Yeah, it was. I was a, I was really annoyed by it, too, and it kept muting. Because it would play, and then it muted out, like, Twitch would mute five, almost like five minutes of the VOD. Even though the sound effect was, like, 20 seconds or 25 seconds or something like that, but it would mute five minutes. It was super annoying. Okay, so we did that. I, th I think that was the end of the signature line. Um, I have to do the music box quest now is what I'm being told. And I don't know. Where does that start, Grug? There. Sorry, says I'm just gonna relog. I got you, man. All right, so we did that. Um, seeing any quest feathers other than the repeatables? Let's check some named while we're out here.
Oh, somebody just killed this named. How long ago? Some amount of time ago. Just need to find the music boxes in each zone. Pull up the wiki. Okay, I gotcha. Do, 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 do. It says there's in flames. That's not it. I didn't get the... Did I get the achievement for questing? I did not. There, I found the music ones. Complete all the solo dungeon collections. Got two of ten. I'm missing these. Complete the Roger Plateau, Tigers Badlands, and same side quests in Renewal of Row. Bet you these are the repeatable. Champions of Renewal. I thought I did every quest that I came across, but I bet you those are the renewable ones. Find out. Um, hot sides, hot sales, oh well. The repeatables. I should have done them. Sandstalker shells in the Sunscar Vale. Right at the top. These are not music boxes, which may be found at high points in various open. Stones and music boxes are not in a single fixed location. They may appear at various points. After completing a music box quest, going to another zone and killing some specific creatures allows you to pick up the second key quest. These are technically their own quest, but you cannot get them without being on the second phase of the music box. All the names for the music boxes are various musical modes. Music box quest at a glance. Basic structure of the music box quest. Find X music box in the overland zone. Music boxes are not in a fixed location. They move. Uh, the quest will direct you to kill 15 of certain mob at certain at, uh, mob to find a hint to where the clue of the, of the location of the music box is. This mob is the same zone. will have a feather. You have the quest. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Took me about five hours to do all of them nonstop. Well, that doesn't sound fun at all. I guess we'll have to start those though. I don't know if I'm in the mood to do them right now, but we'll 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 figure it out. All right. Um. Let's. I do want to get this achievement though. Obtain arachnid sandstalker shells, desert of woe, and gather mirage crystals. Where is this quest at? Sandstalker. 
Are those the scorpions? Game is up. Yo, friend. Three. Let's see where these guys are. Sunscar Veil. Right area. Arachnid sandstar shells. Sounds cool. Are the quest is so hard for me to understand? Ten of the following. Yeah, they're the scorpions. I'm not seeing them. I'm way off. Or way on the other side. An idiot. ID 10 T. Six. Seven, eight, nine. And Mirage Crystals. Crystals, coconuts from the palm trees. for those copy waypoint east fly oh let me check the named over here real fast Nope. T Bobby, what's going on, sir? Recluse hide robe. The green. Red. Interesting. 
not enjoying winter at all. Sorry, Bobby. Skater literally just spawned right on top of me. Oh, it spawns from the thing. Interesting. I need my pet's life taps to heal me. Become full OP. Not too much to ask. Shiny bought everybody around for 40 copper. Thank you, Shiny. Appreciate that. Oh, this thing's gonna kill me. That was close. Got a tier two crate. Got some shoes. And a familiar. Already have that? Do not. We do now. We find something to kill. Otherwise, my pet will be healing me for infinity. All right, there we go. And um, I still need crystals. There's one, two right here. One. Done. We'll turn that in. Why would I try to consume the Merc token in the Panda quest? It just says to save it for later, not letting me activate it. Um, the token basically gives you the way to talk. You still have to go to the mercenary. Is that what you mean, Dark? Or am I misunderstanding? So, like, the token lets you accept the mercenary. It doesn't give it to you right there. So, like, you have to go find the mercenary, which is, I think, the one from the Panda Merchant. Oh, it's still in your inventory? I don't know. Anybody in chat know what that's about? Uh, bone something bone side prefer to destroyer two oh gotta go talk to this person Dolomite. I'm drinking so much water today, chat, that I have to go use the restroom. So bear with me. Yeah. I get this quest. It says save it for later. I don't know. I've never seen that dark inside. You're getting hit today with all the hard ones. We gotta do that. Let me I need to go use the restroom chat. Um to where save or option to hire anywhere after you located the hard find mercy from blah blah blah.
I'm looking dark. Give me a second. I'm trying to. I don't know. It's not coming up anywhere in the guide either. Dark. Might have to ask in general. Just hope that people don't troll. Chat, give me just a minute. I gotta go use the restroom and I'm gonna grab a snack and then I'll be right back. Damn, Bobby got a 100 on that roll. Nice. Got a jackpot of 23,359. It's crazy, dude. Hell yeah. You won it with a roll of 25. All right, what do I need now? 
Need to kill eight vicious uh, Debroptus at the spires, then pick up the skulls. Um, six animal bones at the spires. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, overseer. Leap. Got a cash. Some queen's knuckles of frenzy. Do 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 do. the skull revenge revenge I want revenge 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 I want revenge do anything with those after I kill them destroy animal bones am I not oh it's these things dang it it's funny as I saw those where are they right there Cool, 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 cool. Oh, shiny. Interrupted my shiny gathering. That one yet. when you get an itch like little over your back that you can't reach oh, without like pulling a muscle because that's a thing now Need the bones. Oh, shiny. Already got that one. Out of here. Play this way. Oh, music box. Can I click on this now?
Um, either one of these, I guess, right? This one. That one. I like that one more. Welcome. Achievement. So now we have the undead buried. Dead buried you could in the Takish Badlands. Go do that. I knew I should have did at least one repeatable. It's gonna be at Alahan Ver. Which is probably back at the beginning of the zone. If I had to eh, close. Hope everybody's having a great day. Thank you guys for stopping by, enjoying the stream. Hope you're enjoying the stream, I should say. If anybody's got any questions, don't be afraid to ask them, unless your name's Dark Inside, because Dark Inside's got the hard ones today. I'm just kidding, Dark. Just giving you shit, man. <laughs> oh, I need named in here too. Now that I think about it. Well, that. But check on the named. Named is not up. There's just a chest right here with a timer on it of six minutes thirty four seconds. It'll be a minute for that one. Um, what do I need to kill in here? Collect ten echoes of tear doll weapons at this location in the Petrius Woods. Check this name to see if he's up. He is up. The dirt one must be taught a lesson. I can feel the warm waters welcoming me. I can feel the warm waters welcoming me. Go check this out. Named while we're en route to our quest update. Apparently you can't fly over this. No. Need bigger bags? I can make you some boxes on Varsoon. I have a level, a level 39 carpenter. I think I can make like 24 slot boxes. <laughs> Just send me, um, um, 
send either Rebus, or actually send it to Yolo. The character's name is Yolo. That's the one you want to friend. That's my permadeath character. Send a mail message to Yolo, Y O L O, and with how many bags or boxes you want, and I'll make those at some point, either today or tomorrow. I'll send them to you. Yeah, the Chrono Giveaway is still going on, Shiny. Go over in Discord under the Giveaway category and enter here. You should be able to click on the little um, thing to enter. I think there were 12 entries so far, currently. It's the Community Appreciation Giveaway. We hit our sub goal last week, thanks to you guys. A chrono giveaway and if you don't want the chrono like if you're if you don't play a request two or anything like that let me know if you win and uh we'll sort it out all right just give me a heads up <laughs> flaky bones I don't play Ikizu, you can just give me money. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> nice shiny. But if you do win and you don't, and if you don't, you know, just give me a heads up. If you don't, if you're not gonna use the chrono or if the chrono's just a waste of you, then let me know, we can work something out. Turn. Let's check the named over here though, because I need one more named. One more time. Is. Interrupted. That was good. Another tier two cash. We got a mercenary with that one, the Tazi Allah. It's a Visions of Atrovia, another healer. Great. Inflamed Storm Fury's Searing Cuffs. Uh, Malevent Spike. Uh, I gotta return to whatchamacallit. I'd like a pack of Genesis Crystals to feed my gin my Genshin addiction. I th I, you've been playing some Black Desert too, right, Beard? I thought I saw you log into Black Desert the other day. Not that I'm spying on you or anything, just we're friends, so. Um, what? oh, I need, need to appear, dummy. Thank you. 
Thank you. All right, so next achievements, we need to do just a few more things. I only added a quest in WoW that's named the same thing. Uh, this is going to be in Tagish Badlands at this location. Build our tablets in the ruins and hunt cursed Eldar geotampment runes. Okay. I've really only been doing the daily login rewards, no actually going out to do things like that. But as a result, I have over 2 billion sil silver stored up. If should I ever decide to do anything. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, though. Have you been doing any Lost Ark stuff? Weird. Or did you just give up on that game? logged into Ember's Drift and I was the only one in the newbie zone and the city was empty too. God, man, that sucks. But I mean, I, th I kind of had that feeling was going to happen. I don't know. They have to find a different model for that game. Sub model, I just don't think is going to bring the all the kids to the yard, if you know what I mean. Gave up on Lost Ark. Give me the progress any further. I need seven other folks in the Abyss Raids. Jesus. Two more of those tablets. Wow. What are you fighting this guy? Nana, what are you doing, Nana? Seekers of Valor. Trying to kill this heroic and they're having a hard time, it looks like. I mean, they're still alive. I don't see the health going down on it, though. Oh, Nana died. No, not Nana. Oh, Nana's revived.
Trying to see, there's like six people down here trying to kill this thing. Not losing any health though. We got Bori's uh, smells. Is the tank I think. Must be the mechanic. Oh. I mean, it's not one-shotting them, so that's cool. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, I need one more tablet. Oh, this named is up over here if anybody needs it. Yeah. Turn that. So if anybody's just joining us, we completed the signature timeline for Renewal of Row. Um, we have to do the epic for, we have to do the music box quests, and I'm actually working on achievements right now. But um, yeah, signature line's done. We completed it. We completed the signature timeline, both crafting and adventure. Now I just need the returns for Orza, or Ozra. Returns of Uzra to in the Sandstone Delta at this location. Got a fast travel there? No. But I can use my recall. Boom. Two plat, instant, gone, deleted, spent. Your point. Yeah. Yeah. So if anybody's running the Renewal of Row timeline, make sure you do at least one of the reputable quests. You want the Champions of Renewal achievement. All right, now we need to hunt Scourge Beholders for Mesmerizing Eyes. Gather the uh, changes possible task and click. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We'll do a waypoint. Why did that come up over the game? Everybody knows that Yusa just logged in. Yes, I didn't close out of Steam. Time to get in some new world. Yeah, I got you, man. I haven't signed in in a bit. All right, so it says they're along the path. These guys. Do need named here as well, but not that named. Not make that mistake again.
Let's be honest, I'm probably still gonna make that mistake. Actually, he doesn't even count for the quest credit. eggs in here one two i need this room or the, at least the paint job the art on this room i need this in a guild house what with the, with the glow like the glow that it has or the aurora aurora awesome They're named in here too. What's up right now? Don't think it is. Any one more eye. Show me your eyes. That's done. So turn. This name drink quick. Very large hippo. See a named up here. Oh, there he is. Sweet. Oops. Yeah. One down. It's two down. Turn this in for the achievement. Name is Rubus. Hey, it's I got my achievement. We got the suffix title Champion of Renewal. We got the R War quest flag for Desert of Flame. Pretty cool. I can go into my options and then I can go up here and do was it suffix or prefix champion of renewal
Arch Lich Rebus Sh O Shiny Champion of Renewal. My current tag. <laughs> Let's go check the names over here real fast. Grog's like, oh no, can't have that. Yeah. And then Grogadoon renamed the surname to switch username. Okay. Well, Shiny, Shiny had a good run. Last name, Grogadoon. Or spilled it, right? Yep. So now it is Arch Lich Rebus Grogadoon, Champion of Renewal. There. Here, he else is also looking. Ooh, I like that purple horse. Hmm. Right. Let's um check. In. Is this the one I just? Is this the heroic? No, oh, Boysen wanders the beach. Let's go see about that one. The closest thing I have to a purple mount is my Blood of Lucklin dropped mount that I have. Which makes it look like a, a bug. Put that on. Mounts. Um, it was this one. The Hive Crawler. Ozen is up. Oh, I haven't killed that guy before. Cool. Inflamed bone crusher stained leggings. Pretty cool. Alright, that's done. So, achievement, achievement. We got a muck in the desert. Complete all the solo dungeon collections in Renewal of Row. I've got four. That's a big one. Um, flying through Row. Complete all of the flying collections within the Roger Plateaus, Takish Badlands, and the Sandstone Delta. Flying collections? Heretics in the desert. Complete all of the... Actually, no, these aren't. Sorry, I was reading four of those. It's not the correct... Um, complete all the heroic dungeon collections in Renewal of Row. Complete all the dropped quests in Renewal of Row. I haven't seen any dropped quests. These are the box keys. That's what that's for. Got it. Okay. That's a way to track them. Okay. Renewal of Desert. Uh, complete all the normal collections within the Rajda, and what a concoctive octave. Complete all the points of interests, quests, and renewal of row. These are the music box. Right, I guess we're working on some music boxes. Uh, back to Rajda. Is this the weekly? The that is okay. All right, time one forty six. So I got about forty five minutes left, chat. Forty five minutes left. What do I need to kill here? We need to search for clues for the whereabouts of the key fifteen. Lydia music box.
cracker. Carpets inside tents between this location. Flying collection quest. I mean, the collection quest achievements are just brutal, man. That's some crazy stuff right there. get by flying yeah that's what i figured i just do i have to i should hurt for clues of whereabouts the key do i have to kill the uh, maybe this isn't it wait it says this quest expires in five days no matter how much progress you have made on it the quest i should search for clues for the whereabouts of the e kill 15 enchanted trappers carpets inside tents between this location and this location seen any tents yet i mean i've seen the tents i haven't seen any carpets oh there was one Maybe I'm not running over them. Yeah, I gotta touch them. Okay. Gotta touch them with my feet. I know. Get it. Doing your job. But you're annoying me. I should have waited. Dumb. Get my shiny. Yeah. Guys aren't waking up. Seven out of fifteen. seconds have a good one elric thank you for stopping by i'm glad you're over on var soon now always good to see people returning to the game 
giving it a second, third, fourth, fifth, maybe sixth look. Always good. Stuck. More. It says I need to find the Lydia music box key. Go to the Takis Badlands, find the Lydia box key clue from Grove Stalkers in the Takis Badlands at the ruins of Takis His. These music box quests I think are going to be a pain in the butt. Rug said it took him five hours non-stop to do it, and that just does not yeah. sound fun. Easy but tedious. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, it's, I don't think the quests are hard, but I just, tedious meaning, yeah, that's the pain in the butt part. It is for an epic spill. You're right. I need to go to the ruins, which is... You're not wrong. I'm gonna go up here looking for shinies. Yeah. Gotta get them time sinks in, pad out the content for real. We got a whole year before the next expansion. Not even a whole year. Do I have to read it? Out. The fuck? Examine the clue to receive the quest Lydia Music Box key. Finish the subquest and return to the music box and geez, slay more grove stalkers. Oh, they killed it. Oh. What the mechanic was. Ah. Do you have any non-YOLO tunes on Barsoon? I do. I've always had a non. I've had a um, Troubadour under the name Rebus. He's the official character there. He's like level 30-something. 35. <sighs> He's a Truby. Make sure you friend him.
I've been playing them a lot off stream. I haven't played them on stream too much. There's been a few days we've done some grouping with them. Just the knee healer. Okay. It's a name. That is a name. Can't fly. Not dead. Two more. Sweet, okay. I successfully retrieved the key. We get the music box key, the renewal crate, and a Lydia key. Except we got an X um some some kind of cape. We got a first key of that. 410 resolve from this cape. Got block and crit chance. I'll be losing my reuse. Stats are better though. Oops. What's it look like? Is it green? It's green. Fucking green. Everything's green. Everything. Flipping green. Hope you like green. Okay, we got the key. We got to return to the music box in Rajder Plateaus. Okay, so now we go back to Rajder. Clicky clicky on the thingy. Travel. Is it on the map? Yep. Where did I, I think I got this one from up there. I know there's not a chance it might not be there, right, chat? Ouch. It's not here. So not only do you have to find the box to get the quest, you then have to find the key to do the quest for the box and then do the quest for the box to then just go back and find the box again. So you got to find the box twice and do two quests so I'll get the key for the box. Somebody likes their boxes. Oh, there it is. I got my reward. Item collectible. And we got a renewal crate. We got an XP. Expedient Seeker Woolen Shirt, 410 Resolve, Reuse Speed, 23.3, 29.3. And it's not green. It looks more like a Lord of the Rings kind of thing going on right here. Like a dwarf and something you see on the dwarves in Lord of the Rings. Hmm, interesting. 
Except we're going to add that. We'll take it. Four and ten resolve. Incoming. Okay. Actually, we need to pull this over first. Nice. Beard says, but what's in the box? Music. Music is in the box. Right, Beard? It's the, it's the sound of music. Is there guides or walkthroughs for all the stuff to do in the game? There is a wiki, uh, Bills, but you really... Uh, it's almost too much stuff to do in the game. And, by, and it's overwhelming the amount of stuff you can do in the game. I use the wiki, so like depending on where you're at with your character. So like if you're just leveling your character and if you're doing solo questing, you would search solo quest timelines on the wiki and it would give you like a big breakdown of all the different types of things that you can do. So like if I go to the wiki and I type solo timeline EQ2, right? So you'll get a site that looks kind of like this. And you can pick the different timelines that you want to run. Okay. So then say you want to do, like, say you're in the 36 to 40 range, you'd click on the fair out timeline. And then it gives you a breakdown of all the different quests that you can do in that zone. So it has a main quest line for good alignment, evil alignment, and then you can just work them as you're going kind of scenario. Make sense? But the wiki itself has tons of information from quests to zones to the monsters, the user guides, classes, equipment, spells, trade skills, all of the things on the wiki. Hopefully that helps, Bill. If you have any questions, though, don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to hit us up. Let us know. All right, so that achievement was for that one. So I could probably, okay, so I see how I could do, okay, I kind of, I kind of get this, oh. So does that do the chests for, it does it for this achievement too, so by the time I finish this achievement, this achievement will also be done, right? Maybe. Let's look at Regia. Regia. Box is not here. There are no shinies up here. Next. Ugh. might be here instead of down shinies thank you no mercy for the like on twitter i appreciate you man love the support nothing there check this one that one is up Nope, that was a bird. Nope, it is up. Alright, we got that quest. 
Uh, I'm going to search for clues for the whereabouts of the key. And this up here. Music box. Okay, okay, okay. Um, kill vicious snap jaws around the oasis. Do to do, just out here killing some alligators or crocodiles, whatever these are. Do y'all know the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? Do you? both can kill you yep that is that's uh that this is true this is very true but what's the difference in them crocodiles have like a enlonged size of their nose or face yeah size and shape of the snout i forget which is though crocodiles are the longer more pointed Face. Alligators are the more rounded oval face. Find the key. Uh, find the Phrygia music box key from the Sand Devourers in the Takish Badlands. The Dune Tooth Bluff found this location. So, also, Bill, on the wiki site, I don't know if you know how to use the way function in EQ2. But if you have a, so there, you'll see the three sets of numbers on the wiki on a lot of quest locations and stuff like that. They'll give you those three sets of numbers and you can use forward slash way and then space. And then you paste that number in there like that. And it'll show you on the map, the location of where it's at. So then you'll get this flash and X and you'll get like an orange trail. wanted to show you that i don't know you probably already knew that but i like to show people in case they don't know yeah either way it's not like i have to worry about them up here in the midwest yet <laughs> i'm just kidding beard we had a, uh, did y'all see on the news, um, Florida, we had our first, uh, killer whale. Unfortunately, it washed ashore and it ended up dying. Apparently it was an older one, but it washed ashore up here on one of the Florida beaches. Supposedly they're not rare in the Atlantic Ocean, but they're usually farther off. This one had some issues, I think is what the news was saying about it. Yeah, it's way south, but apparently they, they go in the Atlantic out there. I think one of the um, doctors that was talking that did the... Uh, it, let me get this wrong. 
for humans, it's an autopsy. For animals, it's a necropsy. Is that right? Um, for animals, they did the necropsy for the whale. And she was saying there's, there's, they've seen killer whales in by, like by the Caribbeans and stuff like that before in, in the Atlantic. And I'm like, that's crazy, but apparently it, it can happen. What am I doing here? Sand of ours. Is that these things? I need to loot one. Or a small chest. It's not these, I know, Chad. I'm just killing them all. There it is. There's a small chest. Got our key. Famine. Quest. You're talking about the animals outside of their own normal environments? That's what you're doing. Oh, shiny. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Name and the clue to receive the quest, and I need to kill devourers. Uh, more sand devourers. Okay. Yeah, we're jumping all over the place with conversations today. The sand of ours only side. I think. Carry water, okay. Yeah. Is that an ant? Oh, no, it's a Ravenger. Ravenger. That is a purple shiny. Are those normal? An antenna or a branch? Is that one of those flying ones? Flying Chinese, they're purple. Resisted my life tap. Whoever writes Lance Link first gets four hundred and eighty copper. That's a pretty good payout. I'll tell you what.
14 and 15. Eight. We got an Expedient Trickster Woven Leggings, uh, 410 Resolve with 205.4 DPS. Very My resolve is currently sitting at eighty-seven seventy-two, which is not a lot. I need eighty-nine ten. We're doing on time. Two eighteen. We finish turning this, and then we do one more, maybe. Go find this box. Still got it up, right? Let's see if it's still here. I doubt it, but you never know. Still there, nice. Interrupted me. Wait. Bad. And we got some slippers. Born to resolve. 31.2 AE auto. On those. Eight. Okay, so that brings us two of those down. So now we have the Edora. Door. That's the farthest one away. That one's closest. Check that. This one's not up. This one. That one's up. Take it. We'll accept your quest, and it says here that we need kill. Uh, let's go back. First of all, this is the D Doria. Uh, we should search for clues. The whereabouts of the key. Fifteen dryland corpse beaks around the cliffs around Hopewell Harbor. It's these guys. Five of fifteen notifications. Yeah. Can we just gather all of these? One, two, four, five. Oh, 
That was a lot of death. Let's see how many we ended up with there. Eleven. Got twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen and fifteen. find music box key which I then need to go ooh in the Tagish Badlands from a residual residual sparklet at this location Tagish Badlands here we come again yes travel please Yeah. Travel friend. Sparklets over here. Hey, what's up, E Zane? How's it going, sir? How are you doing? Happy Saturday. Should be a normal stream tomorrow, guys. I'll probably be later than a little bit later than normal. So like twelve thirty one ish. Maybe one thirty, depending if we do grocery shopping in the morning or not. I'm assuming we won't be because tonight's our bar crawl. And that's why I've been hydrating a lot. So. Long night. And I'll probably be pretty dehydrated tomorrow. But, um. It'll be fun. But we should be on a normal stream schedule. Yep, yep, yep. If we're lucky, maybe I'll put some pictures in Discord for you guys. Usually not one to take pictures while I'm out or anything like that, but might be feeling feisty tonight. A double cast land that was pretty cool Just didn't mean to cast that on you Treasure chest. Oh, okay, that'll work. What we needed. Hammond. Quest. More of them. Do 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 do. I hate the ones that don't aggro you because it just makes it harder to gather them up. If these were aggro, I could just fly around, get a, a bunch of them in a spot AOE, you know? Right now I'd have to fly around, target, hit them, run, find something else, target, hit them, run. Just makes it wing. Who 
isn't too bad speed wise. 15. Interrupted. Busted. One more. Fifteen. Boys. Except we got an expedient cr seeker crossbow, man. I don't want a crossbow. Oh, it's got better resolve, though. And we'll take it, and we, we will equip it, and we'll like it, okay, chat? What do y'all think the new equipment slot's going to be? Did y'all see that in the roadmap? EQ2 is getting a new equipment slot that can only be obtained by doing the live content. Whatever that means. What do you think it's going to be? Got any ideas? Did they say and I totally completely missed it? Right back to Roger. Here, up here, try the one that we knew it was at. It's still here, nice. Got it. Expedient Seeker Wrist Wraps. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. will be a slot pack even more stat bloat <laughs> so positive right already said genitalia piercing <laughs> freaking a <laughs> i'm with freddy on that damn like if you look at our character sheet i really don't know what else they could give us for a slot right Like, I don't know what, where it would mess with the whole Prince Albert's for everybody. Damn. Um, I just don't know what else they would, I mean, could it be another pet or something like a pet slot? I mean, we have pets, we have familiars, we have mounts, we have mercenaries. Could it be a bag slot? It said equipment slot though, I think, in the in the walkthrough. It's interesting. Plug. Alright, y'all getting out of hand now. They could do the BDO route and use um undergarments. I mean 
You're not wrong. Not wrong at all. Well, chap. Everyone gets a gun. Oh, it's going to be a ranged item. EQ2 lingerie for the win. Jeez. Oh, I, I just really don't even have... I have no idea what they would be thinking about for another equipment slot. Because everything already has stats. We have three tabs that also have stats and equipment. I mean, they could give pet equipment, but that would be insane. I guess they could probably give us, like, another, like, thing here in the corner. So you know how we have, like, instant, like that. There's this thing right here with Daybreak Cash. But I'm saying, like, if they put something here in one of the corners i just don't know what it would be like a mask or something maybe instead of a helmet isn't there a repairer over here somewhere or am i Will be an item that it will be an item that takes away stats. Their solution to stat bloat. Why not? One of those staples for EQ one mage is summoning gear for pets. True. True. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. We a lot of stuff. So we got three music boxes done. We finished the signature timeline. We finished the. Um. Champion of Renewal Achievement. Today was a good day, chat. Had fun. Had a lot of fun with it. Time will tell, right? With another item slot and bloat stats, I'm going to say it's stat squish. It's not in the future, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it is either, to be honest, Freddy. The only thing I could see them possibly doing in the future would be the um, Kale Drackle system. What's up, cuz? Like the where it, if you go into a zone, you're automatically leveled down and stats go to are based on the zone instead of the uh, instead of the your character kind of scenario. Thank you for that follow, cuz. Appreciate that. I'm getting ready to get out of here. About to log out. At a bar crawl we're doing this evening, so I had to go start prepping for that and getting ready. But thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the follow. I will, Ezane. I'll try, I'll try to get you all some pictures, maybe. We'll see. Get some food in. Yeah, I've had breakfast. I've had uh, lunch. I'm going to eat another. I'm probably going to have a sandwich before I get on the road. Um, September Girl's taking me there. She's going to be coming home later. She's not staying out all night with us, but she's going to take me there. So then I'll uber home or get a ride yeah for sure black mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep this is one of those primary reasons i don't play eq2 anymore stats are way out of hand they really are i mean not just the amount of stats it's the i mean it's the numbers themselves so the stats themselves are out of hand but i'm saying everything has stats that are out of hand so like you have your character and you had then your character has stats, your equipment has stats, your pets have stats, your mounts have stats and gear, your mercenary has stats and gear, your familiar has stats. There's just stats everywhere. And not, not just stats, like even your pet then has equipment that has stats, right? It's just way too much stat. Like it, it, the numbers, and that's why I play with numbers off. I don't... I don't like having numbers on the screen and I hate when I open this up because you, you guys see these and I'm at like 1.8 billion hit points, you know. I do play on TLE as well because, yeah. We're actually doing on uh, Varsoon. We have a permadeath guild going on over there. 
Um, we're going to be returning to permadeath here soon, doing some more stuff with that, that community there. So make sure you guys are up to date. I got to update the sheet for that as well. But yeah, looking forward to doing that. We have our own permadeath rule set because I can right here. Yeah, it's a permadeath guild. The community came up with their own rule set. Um, the guild was originally going to, we were going to do a permadeath um, season on retail, but during the process of making all the rules for permadeath, we uh, came to the conclusion that it was probably better just to start on a TLE because then that would eliminate more than 75% of the rules that we had to incorporate. Um, so like some of the rules we have are our characters are randomly generated. Nobody can pick what they're playing. I have a random generator that will um, decide your race and your class for you. You have to play that character until you die. Um, other rules are we can't accept handouts from anybody in the guild, anybody in the game other than guildies that are also doing permadeath. You can only wear what's crafted, looted, um, or quested in the game. So there's no buying gear from the broker or anything like that. You can buy spells and reagents from the broker, but you can't buy gear and stuff like that from the broker. Um, what's another crazy, crazy rule, my guys? Oh, with the AA points, which we haven't really talked about that yet since uh, Varsoon has had AA launched, but on live, we were originally holding AA use, like your alternate advancement points. We were holding that to the level so like if you were level 30 you can only use 30 points kind of scenario um it's a lot tougher than you think and it really makes you slow down the game because you have to slow down your play i'm i've been through how many characters chat nine i think nine characters and if you go to the videos section of my stream because you'll see i i highlight all of the deaths except for the first one the first death, I, did, I have to go back and highlight an older VOD. But you can see, they're like 10-minute clips where I've died and had to delete my character. So it shows, like, the last fight, what happened, why I died. And then it goes over me deleting the character and creating the new character. The highest level I've gotten in permadeath right now is my... I have an Ogre Bruiser. That's my current permadeath character. He is level 41, I think. That's my highest. I think the highest person we have in the guild is 48, maybe 50, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It would be, um, it's not Freddy. It's, uh, um, is it? No, it's not Freddy. It's, what is his name? He plays with me. His name is Perma in the, in the, on the server. Why can't I think of your Twitch username? Y'all know who I'm talking about. But yeah, we've got a few people over there. Yeah, Sin. Oh, Sin. Sorry. Thank you. God, I was lost there. Thank you, Grunk. Well, I mean, we use... We're all adults for the most part. Uh, it's just, uh, you know... We trust everybody to do the right thing. So far, we haven't had anybody that's cheated. And if they have cheated, they haven't been um, blatant about it. So The community is still pretty small. I think we have 20 accounts in the guild. 20 or 25 accounts in the guild, I think. And that's another thing we do, because um, I usually try it right now. I haven't updated it in a bit, but we have a sheet going with the roster. And then on that sheet, I update um, played time on that for that character, and I'll update that usually once every two weeks or once a month, and I'll so we keep track there. And if for some reason one of the do one of the weird caveats that we had to add, um, if you die, say you're in a group and you go in the stormhold, and if you die, if the healer in that group can res you at the time of death or before they zone out you don't have to delete your character. So like, say, say you're the assassin, you take a group down into Stormhold, you die in Stormhold, 
the group evax. They have to work their way back to you. You can't res. They have to, the healer or resable class has to actually res you in order to save you from permadeath. And we've had to do, on stream, we've had a few things happen with people that aren't part of permadeath that we're like running groups with and they're like pickup members. And we've had to explain like, hey, I can't click revive. I have to have somebody come res me. Yeah, it can't be somebody from outside. They have to be in the group with you. And there are no self-resing. So like if even if you have a warden that has the self-res or a necromancer that has the self-res alternate advancement point, uh, we took that off the table. There's no self-resing. You can spec it for it if you want, but like just can't use it. No self-resing. Uh, the marketplace is limited to no, no, no uh, boost potions. We, you can do appearance items if you really want to, but I told people not to because if you have to delete your character, I feel like you're deleting your station cache, but that's up to you. Um, very limited market, marketplace use on the permadeath. There's a whole rule set. If you, if you scroll up on the permadeath link, there's a, that opens to the rule tab the rule page. And then there's also a link on that page to our current roster. Like I said, I haven't updated it in a bit because we've been checking out. Um, there was the embers of drift launch. We did that for a month. Um, then a uh, new world came out with the brimstone sands. We've been checking that out and then renewal row checked out. So we're three months of not playing on permadeath right now. Last time we played on permadeath, uh, the desert of flames had just launched. So, I mean, we've, we're pretty far behind. Yeah, so you have to, well, because we have to, um, we have to roll you a character. So if you want that to be done, I can do that. And then you can, uh, can, um, okay, I'll do that right now. Hold on. Let me pull up the sheet for it. So I can get your stuff added. I have to update this sheet and I have not done it in a bit chat, so I apologize. I'm gonna do cuz of the goat. Do I have to join Discord or you have you down below on this page? Uh, so no, uh, you don't have to join discord. We don't really do too much voice stuff, but it is there. If you want to ask questions or anything like that, I'm about to do your role. So up here in the low, somewhere on this page is where you're going to see your role. I'm going to, um, when I unhide it, it's when it's going to be your role. So that's going to be what you're going to play. Cause there, there's going to be like a, uh, going to be like up here somewhere. I can't remember where I put it. If I put it up here, if I put it above the chat thing, the role will be there and it's going to give you your race and your class. So I'm about to roll that. Five, four, three, two, one. You're going to play a Dark Elf Brigand. Pretty good roll, actually. That's not a bad roll. You got sneak, you got damage. That's a decent roll. I don't think we have that many. Do we have any other brigands? The one other brigand. Snookin was a brigand last played. Yeah. It's a good roll. Oh, Bullis. Oh, you're now. Sorry, you were typing the word. Because of the, of the goat bot, uh, beat you there, beard. But welcome, because of the goat. Like you said, like Greg said, just give him a toe. Um, and uh, one of your, your 16 characters was a brick. Yeah, I think Grug has everybody beat for deaths. Um, so right now the deaths are, Grug is at 17 deaths, and he's currently playing, well, on here it says Troll Berserker, Grug. I don't know if you've played that character. Um, Dark Inside's at uh, uh, five deaths. Storm's at one death. I'm at nine deaths. 
So it's me and Grog with the highest amount of deaths, but Grog has me beat by a lot. He's level 25. Yeah, I haven't updated. I gotta update the sheet. It's been a bit. And I figured too, we were gonna do the, some people ask how long are we gonna do permadeath for? And to be honest, I don't have a expiration date on it, but once I hit the max amount of classes that we can be on there is when I'll probably stop the permadeath season. So like once I hit 26 characters or whatever, that's probably when I'll stop. If it keeps going until the server dies, then there's that too. We'll have to figure that out, but it's something fun. We've played, I've played through Fallen Gate permadeath. I've played through um, permafrost, permadeath, or permafrost, TLE, and Kaladem. So I've done three TLEs so far from, from launch to end. And this one, I was like, let's just do something different. I haven't even focused on like a main character outside of permadeath on far soon we're just doing something different with this tle and it's been fun we've been having a great time with it it makes you learn the game and learn your character more than it would just playing something through so it is interesting all right chat i gotta get out of here i gotta start getting ready for the thing tonight so appreciate y'all hanging out with me thank you for all the questions and hanging out welcome because i appreciate you stopping by and hitting that follow button I will be live tomorrow, probably more of the same. We're doing music box hunting over here in EQ2. Probably go live around 1 p.m. Eastern. And uh, I think that's about it. Don't forget to type exclamation point enter. Also, cuz there is a uh, channel community appreciation giveaway going on over in Discord uh, right now for one chrono. I think there's like two days left on it. So if you want to enter up on that, make sure you go over to Discord and do that. Um, all past broadcasts are uploaded to the YouTubes. So we have our YouTube link there. All of them go there. I do the Twitter stuff and then there's the discord link again, but yeah, exclamation point enter. Thank you. Beer. That's not how you do it. You have to type the exclamation point symbol and then do E N T E R. There you go. Just, just like Jorm did right there. Thank you, Jorm. Happy Saturday, Jorm. That'll put you in for a uh, giveaway for 5,000 copper. The copper is the chat currency they can use to play sound effects on the stream and the mini games in chat. Like you'll see people doing the word game, rolling dice, gambling, and all sorts of stuff like that. But if you want to enter up on the Chrono giveaway, you got to go to Discord. But at the end of every stream, I give away 5,000 copper currency for people to play with, and they can do sound effects. Like we have stuff like... Um, Bell, ah, I still got the freaking Christmas sound effects in there. Johnny, Johnny V, you out there? I guess not. Cause he would have been playing them today if he was out there. Uh, those are the sound effects. And then we got some games and chat, which you can do man point, uh, exclamation point CMDS. What's the command for guild invite? It's uh forward slash guild space invite space, the character name, right? Hold on. If I type a guild. Yeah. Guild space invite character name. All right. Let's see who won the channel currency giveaway today. Thank you guys again for watching and hanging out with me. I appreciate y'all being here. Entries have stopped for the giveaway. <laughs> there is. Oh, there's dark inside. Did you not enter? Okay, here, here, Dark, enter up. Hurry up. It's not working, Grung? Has anybody else got to enter up on this giveaway? I'm about to close it. You're already in there. You're, you're in there, cuz. There's a long belief that uh, Man, the last person, <laughs> the last person to enter is always the winner, but it's not the case, usually. Tristar entered up last, so we'll figure, we'll figure, we'll find out right now. Okay, chat. He was the last one to enter. Entries have stopped, and the winner tonight is... Jorm. Congrats, Jorm. See, you guys are... It's not rigged. Totally not rigged. Totally. There you go, Jorm. Thank you, guys.
Nicole Slack in the day. <laughs> yeah, the bot's a little weird. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I'm going to get out of here. Y'all stay safe. I'll stay safe as well. And uh, we'll be back here tomorrow afternoon, all right? Epic Games is like, what? I know, I know, Epic. I have to leave early today. I got to get started getting ready for my thing. Doing my thing. Oh, and the thing. But, all right, guys. Y'all stay safe. Be good humans to each other, please. And we'll be back here tomorrow afternoon, all right, for more EverQuest 2. Don't be afraid to reach out to me if you need anything. Y'all know the links. I'll see y'all then. Enter. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all stay safe. Thank you for all the support today. Cuz of the Goat, thank you for the follow. Evil Kitten, thank you for the Prime sub. Appreciate you guys. And thank you for all the redeems with the, uh, with the Platinum. Appreciate you guys. Was there another? Was there another alert? I'm missing one. Hold on. Credits. Keep rolling. Follower, yeah, we got cause subscription. Oh, Tonk, Tony, thank you for the YouTube subscription. Appreciate you. All right, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Yeah. <laughs> MD, JPB, it's only right, baby. Yeah, why you mad? I got a bad bro. Bad. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. Uh -huh. But I'm so stuck. That's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you want to do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's going to be a long night. Yeah. You know. I said, uh, I said, damn, it's going to be a long night. Woo. Yeah, let's go. Shorty drop it for a real one. Yeah. Go ahead and pop it, let me feel some. Do it for the boy with a bag yeah. now. Movie star money making everybody act out. Yeah. I don't lie to these women. If I want them, then I tell them. Don't yeah. get fly for these women. I was born with these propellers. All my haters cannot be me, so I call them my capella. See, I'm only getting better. You only get jealous. You know that I run it. Everything you want to do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night, 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 night. Woo! You know? I had this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night.